Good morning, this is your Daily Tarot for September 15th, 2020. Uh, it's Tuesday, and it looks like we're gonna have a lot of change today. We have the Tower card, which is unavoidable, unexpected change. Um, the Tower in this card is referring to the Tower of Babel, and so like our attempt to build, this, build our way to something and um, like, how we thought we should go about that and what would work ends up shifting and changing and we have to adjust there's literally um it's unavoidable change um sudden change uh some kind of uh shift today that um causes an like a rattling that makes us wake up to something that we don't really have control over and that could actually be more on a global scale rather than us individually personally as well um, keep in mind right now that Mars is in retrograde it's in square to uh, both Pluto and Jupiter that are in Capricorn um, although both of those are you know and, and then we also have other things going on right now, like we have Uranus and Taurus, which is creating um, lots of change as well. But this card is ruled by Mars. So ultimately, um, where we'll be seeing the biggest changes and shifts um, today and in the times to come, at least through, um, let's see, Mars is in retrograde until... Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, how long is Mars in retrograde? Yeah, until like the 13th of November. Um, so there's a lot of things that we want to put energy to toward right now that we can't really put energy toward because we have this kind of stop happening, um, reevaluation happening. And it's happening on a global scale as well because consider that, you know, uh, the planets surround us all and our you know affecting changes in all of our lives but where you'll see it more personally is where uh, Mars is sitting in your natal chart which is in Aries right now the second card that we have for today is the four of cups um, Four typically are numbers of stability um, but in this card you know what we see is someone who's contemplating emotional matters and um, emotional shifts and changes you see three cups in front of them like everything's kind of working out right now but then there's a new cup that comes in um, from the side which is kind of uh, new ideas new changes that are coming about um, and those kind of emotional contemplations like thinking of shifts and changes that are to come um, that will change what is going on right now for you in this moment and the third card that we have for today is the three of cups which is interesting because you know the four of cups speaks to this three of cups plus the ace of cups <clears throat> so this is the three of cups and so this is a card that's about like emotional satiation and joy and um, really um, looking forward to the moment and being in the moment and embracing the moment and enjoying the moment um, you know it's important to realize that like there are things that are always changing around us all the time um, despite our ability to want to create stability um, and control in our environment there are things that shift and change all the time um, and that's not necessarily in our control and you know there are just like there are things that are shifting you know that you know are out of our control that could potentially like cause instability in our lives a lot of times those things that cause instability are to bring us closer to creating a different type of stability um, so you know when we consider the shifts that are changing or the shifts that are coming for all of us um, globally and internationally I think the most important thing for us to do is to be present with the moment and to enjoy company of loved ones and people that we care about and really you know take time to slow down um, and enjoy our relationships our community um, feel our feet on the ground feel the Sun on our skin take a deep breath move our body um, 
you know, really enjoy time and share time with people that we love. So that is our reading for today, the 15th of September. I hope you have a blessed day and know that, you know, things only shift and change when they need to. Um, sometimes while that can be rattling and can seem, you know, scary, there's a lot of people who are trying to seed fear right now and that's not really the most useful place for us to put our energy and our efforts. Um, it's important for us to put our feet on the ground um, and get to work each and every day. So um, I ask you today to, you know, enjoy life and to be present. I send you the best wish and I'll see you soon. Bye.